I got into trucking was like everybody else. Uh, economy kind of took a turn for the worse a few years back. And we had a family owned and operated business where I lived. We raised uh, Shetland Sheepdogs. In about 2000, uh, my mom had passed away from cancer. Uh, what they called single cell carcinoma. And so that put a strain on our, uh, our kennel. My father comes up to me one day and says, uh, if you need to find another job, I ain't gonna be uh, mad at you. He says, because I can't pay you for what you're worth. I was newly married at the time uh, to my lovely wife now of four years. Uh, she's from the Philippines. And so we were just now just then started to get our lives together and then I was told that so I said well I can't work for free and usually when you work for family a lot of the times you do work for free did a few odds and ends in construction and I always seen guys driving trucks the old flatbeds coming into the construction site and I always as a young child thought that would be a neat deal to do anyway as a young boy and so every day I would just watch those guys come in and out and thought they always they always had nice clothes on for some reason <laughs> and I wanted that same for us my wife and I so I looked around and got into looking at truck driving and found out it wasn't that that hard of a thing to get into as I thought it would be. Now, after about four years into truck driving, I can afford to do things with my family that I couldn't before. Now, granted, there's a sacrifice to that, and one of them is being on the road all the time. In the end, it's worth it if you have a strong family they can deal with you being gone so long. Uh, for me personally, truck driving is a gratifying job. It gives me a sense of pride and a sense of accomplishment for my family. Uh, and I'll do this till the day I die. <laughs>